Welcome back to the show. They are the longest running musical theater company in the entire country. 111? 118. 118 years. I was so darn close. <laughs> JT Morse is the general manager over at Orpheus Musical Theater, and Sam Smith is a cast member and a props builder for their latest production is called The Wizard of Oz. Welcome to you both. Great to Thank have you. you here. Good to see you. 118 years. I mean... I wasn't there at the beginning. No, I, well, I wasn't, I wasn't going to say that, Sam, but now that you said it, I might tease you a couple of times. Uh, JT, let's talk about musical theater and, and Orpheus in, in general. I'm sure most people are familiar, but I, I never assume. It, great to never assume because we always introduce every time we're here to something yeah. new, right? Yeah. Uh, 118 years old, started off as a, uh, a musical education center and morphed into a musical theater company that produces three massive $200,000 musicals at Meridian Theaters at Center Point every year, 100% volunteers from the cast to the set builders to the administrators. It's just amazing. Yeah. Uh, latest production, everybody knows it. I mean, I don't think there's anyone out there. It is an absolute classic. I mean, we still watch it with our kids to this day. Is The Wizard of Oz, but you've reimagined it, right, JT? Yeah, I mean, I'd love to say I did, but it was really the directing team that came <laughs> right. on and reimagined it. Um, but yes, it's the story you all know from 1939, but it is set in more of a steampunk era, which you can see here is a bit about it, and Sam can talk a little bit okay. about that, actually, if you can stretch on the steampunk. Well, sure, yeah, from the, uh, the fresh choreography to um, the sets and costumes, it's, it's a different take on that. It's the, it's the same music and, and songs that everyone loves from the movie. Okay. But yeah, visually, it's totally different. Uh, let's let's talk about what you brought sure. along here, Sam. You're going to go behind, right, and sort of show us what what it, what, what you've created here. T tell me about these two pieces you brought along. I guess well, it's all in one, but yep. two uh, well, separate. Well, ba based on the set director's design, I, I then heard that they were doing it again. I was involved in the production 23 years ago. Okay. And I had squirreled away this base assembly for the eyes for the 2001 production. And uh, being a world-class pack rat, so <laughs> I, I then volunteered it out. I said, "Nice. If you would like to use it again, I would love for it to find a new home. Finally, where has this been sitting? In like in garage. your garage? Literally in my garage. Really? Yeah. And when I say squirreled away, that squirrels have been enjoying it. Quite squirrels a lot. have been in yes. inside of these yeah. props. Now, Can you go behind Sam and yes. just show us like exactly how the, how they work for us? <clears throat> So this is exactly what I did 23 years ago. Okay. So you have the right eyeball. Whoops, sorry. Oh, yeah. Which <laughs> oh, cool. Look moves at this. all around. This is great. As, as the wizard talks and intimidates the cast. Yeah. And then you have the left eyeball, which is very different. The set director has come up with something that I was able to, to turn into real. That is amazing. So this is to intimidate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And you you also play a role, right, Sam, in the in the production? Can you tell me about about your role? We'll have you come back out for that oh, one. Oh, okay. Because, I guess. Good. Well, then yes. you'd look like the Wizard of Oz back there, and we we wouldn't That's be able the to. That's the point. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I forgot. Are you the wizard? <laughs> I am not. No. Okay. I, I play the dual roles of uh, Dorothy's Uncle Henry. Okay. In Kansas, uh, like like all of the. Uh, uh, the characters in Kansas, we then transform into different characters in the Land of Oz. So I become the guard at the gates uh, of the, the Emerald City to uh, you know, uh, welcome them in and sing a song. Okay. Um, INTM becomes uh, Glinda the Good Witch. Uh, Miss Gulch becomes the Wicked Witch. The uh, farmhands then become her friends uh, in, in Oz. That is and, awesome. And uh, Professor Marvel becomes the Wizard of Oz. JT, this kicks off May 31st. Tell me about the run. That's right, May 31st. This Friday we open and we run for nine nights until June 9th at Meridian Theatre. And there's a matinee point. or two in there? Is there that is. Right? So Sundays are matinees at 2 o'clock and okay. all of the other days are evening performances at 7.30. Uh, let's talk about the 2024-2025 season. I know I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit here, but subscriptions. Uh, it's such a great idea for people to, to take advantage of, right? Absolutely. So not too soon. I mean, 24-25, we announced it's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, oh, beautiful awesome. The Carol King musical, and The Music Man. And we actually start selling those subscriptions on Friday as well oh, when you Wizard do. of Oz Excellent. opens. Subscriptions is the way to go. If you booked for all three performances, you get the best seats in the house before anybody else can buy them, and they're $45 cheaper than regular tickets. Fantastic. So it's a great way to really enjoy community music. 
musical theater all year long. Uh, I want to mention Schoolhouse. Yeah. Tell, tell everybody at home about that. This is exciting. Yeah, Schoolhouse, we're actually just wrapping up our sixth semester of Schoolhouse. So okay. post-pandemic, we really started to shift more into the learning and development phase. And so what we do is we offer all these artistic classes for children and youth across the community. And we reserve a bunch of spots for anybody who has an accessibility need, low income, no questions asked, who needs artistic training for free. And actually, what's really exciting about this last one, this was our first semester where we were able to fund two classes entirely free. Wow. So half of the kids there didn't have to pay a dime. So does the funding come through the ticket sales? Is that the idea? Part of it comes from the ticket sales. A lot of it comes from our donors. But the other okay. part of it as well is um, we have a pricing tier system. So other people who are joining the class, they can pay the top level price, which is still the cheapest in Ottawa. Yeah. But that helps fund for the other kids who can come in at no charge. And then we have a pay what you want. But most of it comes in from our donors and those other tickets in there. Yeah. Um, auditioning uh, will obviously be coming up. Sam, just wanted to get your perspective, you know, for somebody watching out there and, you know, they're excited, like, oh, I've always wanted to be on stage. Just what is that experience like, especially with a volunteer theatre company like this? It's petrifying, but... Uh... <laughs> Appreciate the honesty, yes, Sam. Yeah, it is. But uh, no, it, it's, it's lots of fun. Uh, yeah. there, there, there's, no, there's no attitudes, there's no pressure. It's just, um, yeah, people should... Find a song that they can you know, go to an opening meeting. Orpheus does always does an opening meeting to give information to the public, to learn about what the show is about, what you would be required to do to uh, learn a song that you can sing uh, with a, a piano accompaniment, uh, read for uh, if you want to do a part. Um, and uh, do a little dance now, because it's a musical, there's usually yeah, dance. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Next auditions are coming up when, JT? Do we they know yet? It will be for Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, end of August, maybe early September, I think end of August, though, so stay tuned. And like Sam said, everybody is welcome, any experience level. You'll probably get in. I get they in. They took me, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Guys, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Again, kicks off uh, May 31st, runs to June the 9th, and don't forget, they have a couple of matinee shows available as well. We'll be back with more right after this. Awesome.